Hi, welcome to another tale from the Magic Story Cauldron. This is a, I, I love this story. It's a Palestinian tale and it is called The Old Woman and the Devil. One day, an old woman and the devil met near a well and started to talk. Each of them professed to be skilled at sowing sorrow and discontent. <clears throat> And since neither would acknowledge the other as better, they decided to have a contest. Together they went to the bazaar and stood in front of the butcher's store as a customer ordered his meat. When the butcher had weighed the purchase, the customer refused it, saying, You've short-weighted me. Don't you know that God commands an honest scale? The butcher was outraged. Are you calling me a cheat and an unbeliever? The devil now fanned the flames and goaded them through his wiles to make more accusations. Shout louder and louder, get angrier and angrier, insult each other more and more, until finally the butcher grabbed a knife from off his block and stabbed the man, killing him right there in his stall. The authorities came and took the butcher away. <laughs> See my power, old woman. In one little argument, I was able to have one soul killed and another taken to prison. Both lives ruined. Now you see who is the greater at mischief. Hmm, and before we rush to conclusions, just follow me, replied the old woman. And so the devil and the old woman walked down a crowded street and came to the shop of a cloth merchant. She went inside and began talking to the merchant. I have need of a length of cloth, your finest, my friend. And my son, may God forgive him, has a mistress and takes her an expensive present every time he visits her. I know it is terrible and that they are both shameless, but he is my son and I beg God to forgive us. I, if I do not do what my son asks, he becomes angry with me and yells and beats me and threatens to drive me from his house and force me to become a beggar on the streets. I have a beautiful piece of Aleppo cloth for her, said the merchant. But remember that you may look to God for your reward. She thanked him and paid the price for the cloth tucking it under her shawl as she walked out into the street. She then walked straight to the cloth merchant's house and knocked on the door. When his young wife answered, she said, It is almost time for my afternoon prayers and I am far from my home. May I come in and say my prayers in your home? The young woman was happy to help the old woman and let her use her own sitting room. When the woman was alone, she took the Aleppo cloth and hid it in a basket where clothes were kept. After a while, she left the room and, thanking the lady of the house, she walked out into the street. Let's see what follows now, she told the devil. The husband returned from his shop and took off his jacket and placed it on the clothes basket. He saw a piece of cloth sticking out and on further examination he knew that it was the Aleppo cloth that he had sold the old woman for her son's mistress. He was furious. He ran to his wife and accused her of adultery and screamed at her to leave his house and never come back. She pleaded her innocence but he would not listen and forced her to return to her parents house in shame and tears. So, am I your equal? asked the old woman of the devil. Well, you did come between a man and his wife. I will concede it was cleverly done, but the devil would not acknowledge the old woman's skills to be as great as his own. Now, just watch, as I prove how great my powers really are, said the old woman. The next day, they returned to the shop of the cloth merchant. In she went. 
I feel so terrible, but I must buy another piece of cloth that I purchased yesterday. I misplaced it, you see. It was close to prayer time, and since I was far from my own house, I stopped at the home of a young woman, and she said I could say my prayers there, and I must have set the cloth down and forgotten about it. I left the house after her kindness, but cannot remember the name of the street. Do you have more of that cloth? The merchant went to the back room and came out with the piece of Aleppo cloth. She took it from him and asked, Is this the same piece? How did you find it? It was my home you stopped by yesterday to say your prayers. He gave her the cloth and closed his shop. He could only think of how unjust he had been to his wife and how he would go to her parents' home and beg her forgiveness. He would never mistrust her again. The old woman turned to the devil and spoke softly. You see, not only can I bring discord, but I can repair what I have done. I brought peace back to these two. But once you sow your seeds, there's no going back. I agree, said the devil. Old women are craftier than the devil himself. The story of the old woman and the devil from Palestine. See you soon for another tale from the Magic Story Cauldron. Bye for now.